Okay, Nora, we are here to celebrate the launch of your tiny course, <laughs> which is called Embodying Your Brand. Yes, congratulations. This is such a great achievement. Let me have a little sip. Thank you very much. Um, tell me, how long have you wanted to create your own tiny course or any course for that matter? Oh, my gosh. Um, I have been wanting to create courses for a good three years. If okay. not, yeah. they were like inside of me waiting. Okay. And yeah. had you made any attempts to do that? No, no. And I, think I kept questioning myself. Well, okay. what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to talk about? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So then you enrolled in my tiny course about how to create a tiny course. <laughs> so <laughs> tell me about that experience. How did that, like, was it, was it different to what you expected? How did it help you actually take that goal that you had for a few years and actually make it happen? And yeah. interestingly, because um, you said you had a few ideas, when you actually enrolled in the course, were you clear on which idea you were going to go with or, yeah? Over yes. <laughs> so when when I saw your website, um, I was looking at actually selling um, the recording of a webinar that I did. Um, and I've got a WordPress website and I'm fairly competent, you know, and skilled on doing things behind the scenes on different platforms. So I thought I'll just put it on my website. But it proved an absolute um, nightmare mentally, I think. Mm -hmm. I just was very challenged to um, to put this out in a format that I was happy with. Um, mm. And then I was very clear as I was perusing your website that your methodology was concise, simple and straight to the point. And I thought, OK. I know what I want to do. I've got three courses in my head, in my body, everywhere. They're like bursting to come out. So I'm just going to enroll in um, Create a Tiny Course because I want to use my creativity for the course. And I want Danny's course to be the container for that. So I just followed step by step, literally without questioning anything, because I knew like, that you were being like the container holding my hand and I was allowed to kind of fully express what I wanted to do, fully, you know, explore the creativity. And because I follow the prompts and the prompts were so clear and so also so quick. And when you say it, at some point it says on the landing page that it's short and I thought, yeah, that's me. I don't complete yeah. it otherwise. Oh. Um, so this was the perfect container for birthing this this course and in fact I started on the second one already yeah yeah amazing so did because that the one of the first lesson really um, helps you clarify the actual idea for your course so did you go into that with the three ideas or were you as I said we, did you already go no I'm going to do the soul branding one first um well, this is part of the uh, process I usually do with clients. So we take at least a month to go through the discovery process of what it is the brand essence, what are the soul images, what are the soul words. Mm -hmm. So there is a methodology there already that I follow. So I wanted to compress these in courses. So people doing DIY websites or people embarking on a project you know and commissioning a designer they could clarify things themselves so mm. this is the step one very yeah. much and I knew that even though I'm more tempted to talk about you know how to create a website you know and how to make it a, a magnet for your clients I I knew that this needed to be the first step because when people do this well then everything else flows with ease Basically. yeah yeah so it makes so, yeah, sense I just applied myself to embodying your brand yeah exposure. so let me I'm going to I'm going to bring up your um your course offer page so we can just have a quick look and just for anyone who's um 
curious as to what it actually looks like when it's actually published. So um, Nora's done this on the Think Thinkific platform, uh, where where which is where I'm currently doing all of mine. I may actually be changing that shortly, uh, but yeah, it's a it's a really nice simple process. And actually, do you know what I was thinking, Nora? I mean, yours looks so much more beautiful than any of mine, I've got to say. And I was just like, how did you do that? So, and I know that some of my clients need help with this. So I'm kind of going to put you on the spot here for a minute. Is, okay. <laughs> is, is formatting, like helping someone like format their sales page, like in Thinkific, like maybe they've got all the words or any and that kind of thing. Is that is that anything that interests you that you like? It's make? funny because I yeah. have been asked this question so many times before. Can you do things on Kajabi? Can you do things yeah. on Thinkific? And I've always declined because I wanted to focus on one thing. But now that yeah. I've done this course, yeah, I love it. So yes, yeah. definitely. Okay. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'll. I'll if anyone's struggling, I'll send them your way Thank and you. you can decide what to do from there. <laughs> okay. So um, there's a quick little preview for anyone that's interested. Um, so now what I wanted to um, talk about is my experience of your course, because I have gone through it and I did that on the weekend and it was, it was so much fun and it was very clarifying. And I've got to say it's, it is different to what I expected mm -hmm. in that it was, it's very, let me try and get this right. Which is it? Oh my God. Is it left brain? That's more creative, more, oh, <laughs> you know, like one, you know, one side of the brain is, you know, you know, like normally when you're doing the course, it's like, I mean, it's sort of like mine, it's like slides and, you know, it's, it's very, you know, but your, I really loved how yours was like, it was really activating those both sides of the brain mm -hmm. and those, the, the, the exercises that you guide us through. Um, that, I guess that was the unexpected bit. I, I didn't, ex I loved it. It was a really lovely surprise, but I'm like, wow, you know, it wasn't sort of academic and, you know, thinky, you know? Yeah. So um so in one of the first activities where you guide us through um, connecting with the true essence of our brand, I wanted to share a couple of like things that came to mind for me. So um, I wrote down at the end of that um, what, so really what I saw is like, and the words I got is like a portal. So in my work, a portal opens. Um, later on, I had to go, yeah, but what's a what's a portal? Because like you know, it's like you know what a portal is, but what's another way of saying it? And it was like I had to look it up. So it was like an entrance, a doorway opens, and then this sort of magic happens between me and the client, you know. And it's like what happens is like words and ideas and epiphanies. It's like they um, they channel through me, you know. Um, or I don't know whether it's like they're in me and they're being drawn up or they're whatever, but it's like what happens. And I, I so resonated with this because it's like, yeah, because things come out of my mouth that I'm like, whoa, that was cool, Jack. <laughs> that was really cool. Um, and and the other thing that came down, like I noted, is that like it, it, it's for me something to behold. It's something that I witness with awe. And mm. it was like, yeah, you know. And it's almost like when it's like when the works finish, it's almost like in a way the 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 portal closes, you know. Yeah. So that was um, and with with uh, a few of these, I had tears in my eyes when this was, you know, oh. like yeah. So that was really great. Um, then the the next one was really interesting about the the business vision and that that exercise that you took us through. Um. And so like this whole container of my brand. So this one was really cool as well. I, I had this immediately, this, this sort of vision of someone walking on a path and me coming and walking beside them. So it was like this walking side by side and it was, it's like in friendship, in, mm, in sort of intimacy. You. Yeah. And, and, and it's like initially it's just like real, well, the whole thing's very casual, but it's sort of like this whole 
beginning process is me just walking side by side, feeling the essence of who they are and their work. And then from that intimacy and friendship, being able to translate that into practical words and language and even structures um, mm. that they can operate within so that they can have an impact. And I was like, yeah, love it. And then I want, I'm going to share one more thing. Yes. Please. Um, so I did the the client fascination profile. Oh, yes. And I assume you're quite familiar with, you know, which one do you think I came out as? Oh, I don't guess. But I, I okay. have a feeling you've got mystique, maybe. Well, I came out as the rock star. Oh, my God. <laughs> you kind of like. So. Um, Brilliant. Well, the rock so, star is innovation, innovation. Yeah. Your way and, you know. It's very much um, like it's the innovation and the passion, isn't it? Those two. Yeah. And yeah. the words I wrote down are bold, artistic, unorthodox, revolutionary, and then the, sens the, the sensational was yeah. another word. But I thought, yeah. 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 It and really, in a way, it matches, you know, what you're yeah. doing because you yeah. operate. It's like you operate literally in a different paradigm. You, you yeah. don't have a free masterclass or a freebie to join your mailing list which yeah. frustrated me in the beginning because I was <laughs> like I want to get to know her I want to hear her voice I want to see her speaking but then um okay and I thought wow well, there's something here if she operates this way then you also um have you know this whole quiet marketing way of you know teaching and offering and it, then you link it to the human design. So there's so many layers to the work that make it really, really unique. Um, mm. But also when you are a rock star, you're embracing all of that. You are planting mm. yourself and you're going, here I am. This this is exactly what I do and this is exactly what I don't do. Yeah. It's phenomenal. I'm very yeah. pleased. Now you have to almost use that permission to reflect it on the website. So your website and your brand and all of those things, they can be really, you know, unexpected, surprises. Um, you can also um, have a little wackiness as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for, yeah, those ideas. Because I know part of me is like, like, because I understand the purpose of that particular part of the course is to like be, it's really about how others perceive me, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, how do you bring that forward? So it's, um, forget the word, but well, I, yeah, they're fat, it, it raises people's fascination, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, at first it was sort of like, like I definitely resonate with those words, but at the same time didn't want to go, well, I'm unorthodox and I'm this and, you know, like, but what, with those little examples you gave, that's another, that's like another way of approaching it, that it's, it's, it's doing without necessarily saying, although there's ways to bring the language in, you know, that kind of yeah. thing. So. so you can use unusual words, you can mm. use unusual images, um, you can go completely off track. You know, like if you're going to be choosing your clothes, you can choose something that is slightly formal and then make, you know, a detail that is like misaligned with a whole yeah. look, for example. Um, you're going to find the way. Things that, that don't go together. Yes. Like quiet marketing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And so, it's also how people see you. Yeah. And yeah. you'll be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. And so uh, a question I have out of curiosity, when you were saying um, it was kind of frustrating that I didn't have a, like a freebie thing or whatever, what, what stands out for me there? It's so important. Um, you're like, I forget how you put it, but you, you basically, you wanted to see me animated. You wanted to see my essence, right? And I think that's really important. And and it, it what it tells me is I need to, there's something I need to highlight more, I guess, um, in light of that feedback, which was great. I'm wondering whether, did it ever, <laughs> did it occur to you at all? Like, well, maybe she, I could go on YouTube and see some of Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did go on YouTube eventually. 
Um, but this is the thing I'm not making obvious. You know, like there's like a little YouTube <laughs> like icon somewhere. Yes. You know I, did, I, mean? I did do quite a few searches on YouTube to see. And then yeah. I found interviews with yeah. you. And I could yeah. feel your energy and I could feel yeah. how you spoke. Uh, yeah. But maybe perhaps a tiny little video on your website. Um, yeah, yeah. That might just solve uh, the whole thing. Uh, it's very personal. It was just me. You know, some people are very happy uh, to not. Well, have... yeah, look, I think, you know, some people, some coaches are like, video, video, you got to have everything video. I'm not like that. But I, I do think people need to see you. Definitely, you know. And so, yeah, I could definitely have something on my site. And um, what's the thing I was going to say there to that? can't remember anyway great to yeah um talk about that mm. so um what i'm gonna do is underneath this video share the link to your course and i do recommend people do it for sure like i i'm actually in the process of um of, well like even today it, it'll, it'll be finalized tomorrow having my website re re um, refreshed and so in the last like one or two weeks, I've been like reviewing a lot of my messaging and my content. It's actually been a lot of fun. So doing what I did with you is also really helpful, you know, for that whole process. So I really recommend um, people do that. I also recommend people create their own tiny course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, gone are the days where really big, long courses um, are, are are a good idea you know people who you know I'm sh surely like you're probably the same Nora like there's you you've purchased courses and in some cases not only not finished them but maybe not even started them you know yeah. because once you purchase and then you realized how freaking big it was it's like oh well I need to carve out time for that so yeah but also I think the way you set this up was really um concise because everything sat on think thinky fig so I wasn't being given you know loads of other things and download these and do you know everything was on thinky fig so I always went back to you know the videos to the resources once I understood where things were it was really simple the simplicity yeah. of it is what makes it amazing yeah and I know I'll be using these formats over and over again yeah so. And it's it's so cool for me to go to someone's course and I'm like, that's just how I do it. It's just, it's just so good. Um, and, yeah, when I first, when the first iteration of this, I was sort of like, you could use Think If It, you could use this, you could use that. You could, and then I'm like, the next time I kind of refresh it, I'm like, just focus on Think If It, focus on what I use, because then it just still leaves a question mark for people, like, well, which one should I do? <clears throat> and, Yeah. And that, I think that was part of my process as well. I didn't question anything of what mm. you were saying. Yeah. I didn't go and research other platforms. Yeah. You know, I didn't check prices. I just I just stuck with your expertise and followed it to the T. Yeah. And that's what I recommend. Yeah, yeah, cool. So um, your course has just been launched and I believe next week you're doing a special sort of live call, discussion call, whatever yeah. you call it, so that for, for new people they can maybe start doing the course and then come to the call and, you know, pick your brain or, or something like that, yeah? Yes, um, the call is a live class on Discover Your Brand Essence. Mm -hmm. It's next Tuesday at... I believe 2 p.m. UK time. It's on my Facebook, it's on my website, and it's obviously on Thinkific. And um, we're going to do a little mini taster of what the course is. Okay. And then yeah. uh, I'm going to open up for questions. Yeah. So this is this is for like people who haven't enrolled, and that yeah they yeah. want to get a bit of a sense of view and yeah. Yeah, and the people yeah. that do enroll, there is a community component as well. Yeah. Um, so they can join me in a private community and ask questions, um, ask for insights, offer insights. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. 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 Love it. So good. All right. Well, Nora, thank you for having this conversation. Congratulations again. Cheers to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank and, you for, um, yeah. and for asking me to come and talk to you.
Yeah, and I, I look forward to whatever comes next in your next yes. course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much and bye for bye. now. Bye-bye.